The new Jason Statham action film The Beekeeper is another Statham classic, with great fight scenes, sarcastic comments and vigilante heroes. The Beekeeper very much reminded me of John Wick, man gets something killed that was close to him and so man goes on a killing spree. But what this film set up could potentially turn into a franchise that could go either way, sequels or prequels or maybe even spin-offs. That is the beekeepers and who they are, because we don't really find out much about them or the hive. We know they were set up to go against any world leaders and were separate from them in order to make sure that certain things in the world always happened and certain things in the world are always prevented. And they are brutal killers, the best killers in the world and access to the best technology in the world. It is such a great concept and a perfect way to start a franchise. The one thing I'd love to see is a prequel, kind of like the Kingsman prequel or the John Wick prequel. A film about how these beekeepers were set up. Are there several beekeepers in the hive? What was their first mission like? What was so necessary for the world that this organisation needed to be set up in the first place? And how far back does this go? Could we see a young Clay? We could even see a series of prequels that leads up to Clay's retirement. The other way is a sequel, and there are countless possibilities for this. We could quite literally pick up right where the film ended with Clay escaping. The president's son has just been killed, and even though he was the leader of a criminal organization, she definitely would be doing everything in her power to find Clay. We could see Wallace return as the head of the CIA and go on a massive manhunt for Clay to get vengeance. So we could get another film about the government hunting for Clay and they could use other members of the hive to try and catch Clay and other beekeepers. We could also see the political fallout as the truth about the president's son are shared to the world. It could turn into an election type film with lots of action, kind of like some of the Has Fallen films. Another way could be the world faces an even bigger threat. Some Something that even the beekeepers can't face and the world ends up needing Clay to help them. Kind of like how Deckard Shaw in the Fast and Furious films is like and how like in Hobbs and Shaw he ends up helping. It could see the president having to ask the man who murdered her son in front of her for help and see how Clay would respond to the situation and whether he would help or not. Another possibility could be since Clay is now out of retirement, he could go looking for the other beekeepers and either try killing them or return as the main beekeeper of the hive and be sent out on missions again. Or he could try and shut down the hive and he'd be up against the people who have had the same skill set and training as him, but he would now believe that actually the beekeepers are a bad thing and he wants them shut down. There are so many other possibilities possibilities of where this could go. We could be looking at some of the other characters like the two from the FBI and we could also see potential spin-offs. Personally I would love a prequel, I just think the idea of this film sets up so well for a brilliant prequel, maybe set in something like the 1940s or the 1910s of how the beekeepers were set up and the reason why they were set up, but there are also so many other possibilities of sequels, plus if we get a sequel we get to keep Jason Statham and I think it'd be really interesting considering the film literally just ended like Clay did what he needed to do and then the film just like ended within less than a minute later. I think it would be really cool if the second film did just pick up straight off from then because that would make so much sense as why there was such a sudden ending or it'd be really cool if there was just like this massive time jump and we see Clay in like 10 years time and the president having to come and get him and ask him for help and it, we just see in this really awkward tension moment between them. I think that would be so cool. I really really hope that they do make a sequel or a prequel to this film as I absolutely loved it but anyway guys that's the end of this video I hope you have enjoyed it if you have make sure that you smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already guys let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this do you reckon that we could potentially get a beekeeper prequel or sequel and if we do get one what would you like it to be about and did you enjoy the beekeeper as I've said in this video I absolutely loved it let me know all your thoughts down there and as always we've been here on gate of theories thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. How the mind doesn't work like it used to. Is a new I remain a danger to me.